Hey Ryan, what's on the grill? Uh, pork shoulder. Pork butt. One of the Whatever it was. Whatever I picked up. Here you go, layer of fat on top. It's gonna be nice and crispy later. Glad you made it, buddy. Thank you. Well, my grandpa has always done the vintage stuff, right? Like, I mean, he's um, 82, 83, you know? So, and, and, you know, he's actually raced here at this vintage race. So he's like, oh, you gotta come do it. It's so fun. Yeah, he's been telling me this whole thing, you know? And, and um, you know, never made it out. And this is my opportunity. You know, Leon had the, the um, 1974 125 behind me. And also he has a 1974 um, YZ250. So he said, come out, I got the bikes. And, and so yeah, we're here. So amateur racing or just local racing on a, on a local level is fun. Way more low key than what I'm used to, right? But then you come here to a vintage race and these guys are scrapping parts and putting bikes together. And the reason why they're here is they just, they ultimately just love dirt bikes and, and love riding them. So called up Jake, cause he's only two hours you know, from here. I was like, dude, come, come hang out. So he's also riding a Honda Elsinore in the 125 class. So it's a lot of fun all across the board called me and was like, oh, you gotta come, because I, I only live like two hours from here, so um, you gotta just come up and bring a gear bag. I didn't have a bike to ride, so I just brought a gear bag, and thankfully uh, Doug let me ride his bike and beat the crap out of it, so. The 125 is, I guess, what I would expect, slow. You really gotta wring its neck, but Leon's YZ250, um, that thing rips um, for, for what it is. Me and Jake can't get off the line to, to save our life so far. But I couldn't get off the line yesterday. And then uh, today, Moto One, you know, we kind of had this, got it to where I was feeling pretty good and got the whole shot. And me and Ryan were one, two. And then uh, I locked her up coming up the hill. She, she locked up on me. So I'm told that's kind of how these vintage races go. And, you know, if something breaks, like, you know, one of the Grayson in our group now, he's got a rod out in his his 125, and you know he's got to put a new motor. He's trying, you know, it's just it's just fun. It's just a good time. You know, low pressure atmosphere, and everyone's hanging out, and barbecue, and it's you know it's as much of a hang as it is the race. <laughs> okay, you're done. <laughs> Holes are gonna learn. Yes, it's the time. She wants you to poke Maybe it. Maybe they just got pinned <laughs> in Hurry up. Time to poke it. it poke what he says. Show Jake what's in your pocket. Is this on the daily? Every day? Every day. Yeah, that's what's in the cover all. Fine tip. Would you like one? Check the hair in your tires. Okay. You told me you just needed a ball peen hand. What, what, what? Bring all of it out though. Don't leave it hanging. It better not be tight or you ain't getting it loose with that. This this is regular for like or otherwise number two or number one and then small standard. This is every day. I don't have race again. When you're working, you have to worry about your hands. You've got to have yeah, the work gloves. I was wondering why you limped earlier. Well, now I know you're carrying you around have a, a 50 needle pounds nose, of tools. You've got to have a needle nose you. pliers. Oh, oh, yeah, you got to be able to see. you got the flashlight. And where's the 38? I, I, it's under the bed where we're sleeping right now. Every day you, you carry this. 100%. <laughs> for, for, for 30 years. Yep. 
A phone? No, I don't want nothing to do with a phone. The phone kept dialing 911. It's getting dirty. I don't like that. I was me. talking trash on him earlier, no, and then he ends up working no. on my rig with all the tools out of his pocket. They think that we lost our minds. Well, maybe we did. Maybe that's just how we live. Maybe that's all that we want. Maybe it is what it is. Cause we're just living. Yeah, it was awesome. Thank you. Mate, you have so many demands. Are you for real? Starving. <laughs> yeah, we did it. We did a good pork butt last night. Grandma was rushing it. She wanted. Grandma was like, "All right, Brian, it's done." So, you know, she's you know in there. Tell the camera. Done. Tell the camera. It's, it's not done. done. Wow. No, it's not. Wow. At least an hour early. At least. So we're gonna eat at eleven o'clock tonight. It's only. Gosh, dang. It's about nine. It's eight forty. It could have gone another two hours. Two hours, I think, would have been good. But then she tells me she was bitching this morning about, I think it was a little dry. And I was like, well, man, I don't know. Like, I, 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 I don't know what to tell you. Like, I even wrapped it. So I guess I could have poured a little beer in the tinfoil and, and you know, give it a little moisture. But no, I, it was good. Everybody liked it. Oh.